Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to season 2, episode number 1 of the Leicester City career mode series. Now, season 1 with Leicester went really well for us. We managed to get a top 4 spot in the league. Besides that, we also reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League. In season 2, we'll try to take it one step further. If you guys are excited for season 2 with Leicester City, drop a like on this video. 100 likes is the goal for today and make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. First things first guys, let's have a look at our board expectations. So domestic success first, the board wants us to get a top 4 spot in the Premier League. We managed to get that done in last season, so I think it is possible for us to complete it in this season. In the FA Cup, the board want us to get to the semi-finals and in the Champions League, the board want us to reach the semi-finals as well. And in the Champions League, reaching semi-finals is going to be really difficult. Sell out at least 85% attendance at at least 70% of the league uh, home games this season. I think that is achievable. Even if we don't achieve it, it's on low. So, well, I don't think the board will sack us if we don't achieve that. And of course, youth development. Sign four players in your youth academy from each of the following positions. You guys know which positions, you know, defender, midfield the goalkeeper and attacker we should get that done and our final objective in financial is finish the season with at least 17 million funds left in your transfer budget i think that is possible but i'm not sure if i will be able to do it i want to spend bring in some really good plays that will help this side for now guys this is how our first team looks with of course a few new, new signings as well through pre-contracts whom we signed last season like Sapanara and Axel Witzel and even Tremulinas. This team guys looks really good. We just need a few improvements and I'm thinking guys maybe another right back as Danny Simpson is getting old so maybe someone back up to Trippier or maybe even first choice to Trippier. Not sure it's up to you guys. Drop in a comment and let me know. Besides that I'm pretty sure I need to bring in another centre back as Wes Morgan will be leaving the club. I think it makes sense for him to leave as well. He is getting old so maybe we'll bring in someone better, someone younger who will you know proved to be a really solid option at the back besides that i'm also strengthening our attack by bringing in probably another right midfielder i know maras is staying at the club but i'm not really enjoying using antonio so i'm looking to get rid of him and bring in someone else for that backup right midfield role any suggestions guys drop them in the comment section below also guys our only cam right now is saponara hence i'm also thinking of bringing in a backup cam so any suggestions again are welcome so basically a center back a backup cam, a backup right midfield and a backup right back or maybe even a first choice right back and also guys a backup goalkeeper as if you guys remember Zila is not happy with the game time he has been getting so I think we need to bring in a backup goalkeeper so I've put Zila on the transfer list, I've put King, I've put Okazaki, the reason I've put Okazaki on the transfer list is because we already have Slimani, Musa and Vardy and as you guys have noticed I've switched to a 4-3-3 attack formation I think this formation is way more balanced than the previous 4-4-2 and it'll you know help us attack a lot more and defend better as well so that is exactly the plan transfer budget guys 45.19 million not bad at all 176 thousand pounds in our wage budget i think we can make some really good signings with a few player sales guys our budget should reach around 70 to 80 million then we can really improve this squad first up guys we do have a transfer offer from stoke city for casper schmeichel 21 and a half million. There's no reason for me to sell Kasper Michael. I prefer keeping him. Of course, I'm looking to sell Zila. I know Zila is younger, but I believe Kasper Schmeichel is the better goalkeeper. Also, guys, instead of bringing in a new goalkeeper to the team, I thought, you know what? We can just promote Miguel Cruz to the first team. Although he's low rated, he's got great potential. And I think he'll be a really good player for us. But it's completely up to you guys. I'm leaving this decision to you guys. Should we bring in another goalkeeper for back up to Kasper Schmeichel? Or should we promote one of our youth academy prospects in Miguel Cruz? It's up to you guys. Drop a comment and let me know. Also guys, there's no press conference for today. As of course, first episode of the season. Didn't really have many press conference questions to answer. There will definitely be a press conference in the next episode. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below. Before we have a look at my transfer time, Yes, guys, I will be making a few signings in today's episode, particularly a centre-back and a cam. But before that, we also will be having a look at the fixtures for today's episode. So we will be facing Bar Leverkusen, Real Madrid and New England. I'll be simming all these games. And if we do reach the finals of the pre-season tournament, I will play that game, you know, to test out our squad to see how they are doing. As I said, guys, I'm looking to bring in a centre-back in today's episode. You guys left tons of suggestions in the last episode of this series. So... John Stones and Maria Gimenez, Jose Maria Gimenez were the popular suggestions 
for a center back so of course guys Wes Morgan will be leaving Robert Hood is getting old so it makes sense for us to bring in another center back but Gimenez might prove to be really expensive I'm gonna try and get him for 34 million I think that is probably the highest I can actually go for because well we don't really have unlimited funds we'll try and get that deal done for John Stones I'm just gonna inquire and see what Manchester City come back and say and guys for Cam guys I think Alan Halilovic will be incredible for us I haven't used them on FIFA 17 of course former Barcelona youngster besides that our only Cam right now is Sapinara and then I think it makes sense getting a you know young Cam who's got really good potential and I think Alan Halilovic could be the man so inquired for him as well let's see what their club come back and say it'll be incredible if he managed to get Alan Halilovic Lilovic. In a few seasons, guys, I can see him becoming the best player in the world and having such a talent at the club will be absolutely insane. What are your thoughts, guys, on the Alan Halilovic transfer? Is it a good transfer? Let me know down in the comments section below. Now, guys, it's time for some training. I'm training probably my best youth academy prospect in Declan Davies. Of course, he's got potential of between 93 to 94 and he's only 15 and he's already 67 rated. I think with training, he can be an insane player. Other players I'm training are Tamira Gray, Chilwell and Michael Keane. Big hopes for all those plays. Hopefully, they'll draw pretty quickly. Hamburg won 40 million for Alan Halilovic. There's there's no way I'm paying that much for a play so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna offer one of my you know plays who I'm not really thinking of using this season and that player is of course Zila I'm gonna offer Zila plus about 10 million I think that should do it I'm not sure to be fair Zila is valued around 15 million and of course 10 million amounts to 25 and Hamburg won 40 so we'll see what happens hopefully Hamburg do accept this offer I really want to bring in Alan Halilovic I think he'll be an amazing player for us of course, maybe coming on from the bench and even starting in a few games, I think he'll be a really good talent for us. And hopefully in the future seasons, he could potentially be one of the best players in this series. That will be incredible. Also, guys, I'm still trying to sign John Stones. Manchester City have come back and said they want only 26 million. And that, guys would be a steal for someone like John Stones. I'm going to again try and use a player swap deal. I'm offering Antonio plus 10 million. Let's see what Man City come back and say. I'm pretty sure they're going to decline that, but we'll see what happens. Also, guys, the Leicester City board want us to sell Morgan. Last episode of this series, basically in season one, Morgan decided that he's not, not sure that he wants to stay at the club and, you know, he wants to leave. He said that to us, basically. So uh, now the board want us to sell him as well. So we will go ahead and sell Wes Morgan. As you can see, guys, Gimenez probably won't be joining us. I think I put in a 34 million offer for him but well Atletico I mean Everton actually he's at Everton right now have completely declined the transfer offer they want somewhere around 50 million so there is absolutely no way we are going to sign Jose Maria Jimenez besides that an offer came in for West Morgan I just accepted it somewhere around 4 million for him not bad at all we also do manage to win our first preseason game against Leverkusen two goals from Carrasco a goal from Mendy and a couple of goals from Trippi I mean our right back scoring a brace not bad at all. Besides that, guys, Hamburg are interested in Ron Robert Zila, but they want 23 million. There is absolutely no way I'm paying that much money plus an additional player for a single play. So what I'm going to do is my final offer, 15 million plus Zila. Hopefully, Hamburg will accept this offer. To be fair, guys, it's a really good offer. They probably should accept it. Also, guys, Man City have declined the transfer offer for John Stones. They want, they're not interested in Mikel Antonio, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offer money. I thought of, you know, putting in someone else, but there wasn't really any other player Manchester City would probably be interested in. So I've decided to put in an offer of somewhere around 18 million pounds. I think that should be a good offer. Hopefully, Manchester City think it is. Of course, they want 26 million. I'm going to offer 18 and see but I still think 26 million is a bargain for someone as good as John Stones but somehow guys we managed to beat Real Madrid in the preseason tournament as well this tournament guys is going really well for us a goal from Vardy and also a goal from Carrasco not bad at all another thing guys you might have probably noticed Vardy has dropped down to the bench and I'm starting Musa it's because guys Musa is now higher rated than Jamie Vardy and Vardy is going down in his overall so I think it kind of makes sense using Jamie Vardy as an impact sub but great news guys as Hamburg have accepted the transfer offer for Alan Halil the 21 year old Croatian player so we're gonna offer him a contract now 50,000 pounds per week five years important first team player role that is a really good contract offer in my opinion he should be accepting that and also guys Manchester City have accepted the 18 million transfer offer for John Stones he's English as well 23 years old I think he will be a great transfer so 90,000 pounds per week five years crucial first team player role that is also a good contract he should be accepting it 
We also managed to win our final preseason game against New England and this time Riyad Mahrez gets himself a hat-trick. Not bad at all, Mendy chips in with a goal and we are now in the semi-finals of this preseason tournament. And of course guys, as I told you guys, if we do reach the finals, we will play that game. But guys, great news as both John Stones and Alan Halilovic have accepted their contract offers and now will be joining Leicester City. Really excited to have them at the club and I think they will be absolutely crucial for us in this upcoming season. Apart from that guys, we do get additional money for getting into the semi-finals of this preseason tournament. 2.6 million. If we can get to the finals guys, that would be amazing as well. In the semi-finals, we will be playing Wolfsburg. Again, I will be simming this game. If we do get to the finals, we'll be playing either PSG or Real Madrid. Besides that, guys, it's now time to sim that game against Wolfsburg. Before that, guys, have a look at the team. We've already brought in two signings, uh, John Stones and Alan Halilo, which I won't be making any more transfers in this episode. But next episode, guys, I'll be looking to make more transfers. But first, I will, of course, read through all the comments from this video. First of all, we need a backup right midfielder. Then we also need a right back, maybe even a goalkeeper, you know, a backup goalkeeper or someone from the youth academy. Again, it's completely up to you guys. I think those are the three positions we are looking to strengthen. A few people also think that we need to bring in an additional left back but I think having Tremolinas and Chilwell and Schlapp as backup is really good enough and I don't think we do need to bring in another left back but besides that guys this team looks absolutely incredible. If you guys have any other transfer suggestions make sure to drop them down in the comment section below and of course we still have a ton of players to sell. Right now our budget after those two signings has gone down to 18 million but after we sell all these players it should go up to somewhere around 35 to 40 million hopefully our offers will start coming for these plays because i think we'll need the money to improve this squad now guys let's go ahead and sim this game against wolfsburg hopefully we can get the win and yes guys we do manage to destroy wolfsburg four goals to one robert hoot stremulinas Morris and Musa with the goals they actually did manage to score a goal and it was Martinez so 4-1 not bad at all and now we are in the finals of the preseason tournament which we will be playing and it's gonna be against PSG PSG also destroyed Real Madrid four goals to one again so PSG isn't gonna be an easy game I believe we did face them in the Champions League last season in the quarterfinals and they were the team that got us knocked out so it'll be nice to get a win against them get a revenge although it doesn't really mean as much as you know getting knocked out in the quarterfinals but still it's a big game besides that going with probably my strongest 11 want to try out Alan Halilo with that so I have started him ahead of Sapanara and that decision guys really worked out he had the first opportunity for this game really nice shot there Kevin Trapp with a decent save there but Alan Halilovic guys was playing really well in this game but now a chance in the 43rd minute for Edinson Cavani but his shot went way above the crossbar now chance here for Alan Halilovic who was having a fantastic game here he's got a free kick 31 yards down really nice free kick there Kevin Trapp does clear the ball away it falls to Riyad Mahrez on the wall he smashes the ball into the back of the net Alan Halilovic's free kick was crucial to the build-up play of this goal I mean there wasn't really any build-up play but a nice finish there from Riyad Mahrez making it one goal to nil and here Mendy still the ball from Edinson Cavani nice defending there from him the ball is now with Halilovic who plays it through into Musa nice through ball and then Musa does what he does best scores goals Musa now makes it two goals to nil for Leicester City against PSG I then decided to make a few changes I brought off Halilovic Musa and Mendy for Vardy Sapanara and Danny Drinkwater because of course it's just a friendly just want to give all my players a chance to perform well besides that Halilovic so far definitely has been man of the match in this game with involvement in both goals chance for Cavani to possibly get maybe you know a consolation goal as this game was proving to be really difficult for PSG to get back and our keeper made a good save there and here's Riyad Mahrez down that right hand side goes past one here and of course Scoops turns the other it's still Riyad Mahrez but the finish wasn't really there for him in the 75th minute Mahrez makes it misses a golden opportunity to make it three goals to nil but guys it doesn't matter we do manage to beat PSG two goals to nil goals from both Riyad Mahrez and Emad Musa and there you go we are lifting this preseason tournament trophy of course the North American Challenge Cup not bad at all first preseason trophy of the season I think last season we also managed to win the preseason tournament and now we have won it again and it gives us an additional of 4.5 million which will help us make some more transfers we now also have a transfer offer for Andy King which I will be accepting 1.7 million that could help us you know possibly make some better transfers this season of course our manager rating has gone up as well now to 72 
not bad salt so in the next episode guys we'll be having games against Bournemouth Chelsea and Spurs in the Premier League besides that also a shit ton of transfers so if you guys have any transfer suggestions guys drop them down in the comment section below also feel free to tweet me your suggestions I think we have about 26 million I thought 21 but well that's great 26 million plus money from the players that we are going to sell besides that this is how our team looks after all the transfers we have made so far Sapanara, Witzel and Tramulinas are all pre-contract signings Stones of course is a new signing we signed him for 18 million we also brought in Alan Halilovic for I think 15 million plus Ron Robert Zila so next episode we'll need to be making more signings a goalkeeper a right back and a right midfielder so do feel free to you know let me know your suggestions but besides that guys it's now time to find out who our player of the episode is and it's gonna be none other than Alan Halilovic who had a fantastic debut created this goal from that free kick of course I mean not directly his assist but I think he played a big part in getting that goal besides that this assist was really nice as well into Musa he does what he does best runs towards defenses and then plays the ball through to Musa who scores average rating of 9.3 and with one assist he is your player of the episode so nice episode there from Alan Halilovic of course taking it into account of only that one game board expectations now well of course our manager rating has gone up now to 72 not bad at all there is improvement and hopefully it will get into the 80s I don't think our objectives are that difficult I think we should be able to get all done but that is pretty much it for today's episode drop a like if you have enjoyed it again 100 likes is the goal make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content and of course I will see you guys very soon for another episode of the Leicester City career mode